Um, g'day everyone. This is Mr. Brown on Shape Tutorial. Um, I'm going to draw in this video a heart-shaped cookie cutter. You can see I've had a few goes at it before. Um, and the whole purpose of this tutorial and the next couple of videos after this is just to show you the process of 3D printing. Um, doing a cookie cutter is a great project for a 3D printer and you'll sort of see why as we go through and I'm going to do a heart shaped one um, but you can do different shapes I mean you can follow along exactly with me or you can do something different it's all sort of um, the same technique really all right so I'm going to start off with a sketch on the top plane and I need a circle and I know the size of the circle. Um, good cookie cutter. Um, if it's square, probably around 80 by 80 millimeters. And if it's more rectangular, it's probably 100 by 50. So um, you'll see the shape sort of take place here. I'm going to draw that down to there. Okay, and going to join these with a tangent so they kind of that line meets better into the circle uh, I'm also going to draw a construction line down the middle and I think we'll do tangent here too yep all right so this is 40 um, from the bottom point to the midpoint is also 40, that gives us our 80. And what do I want to do from there to there? I want 40. Um, it's probably a better way to do that though, because we're already given this 40, so you probably want to draw a construction line here. And then, coincidence, so touching this and that. Nope, all right, well maybe it's tangent then. That and that, there we go. That looks more like it. So that whole thing is 80, it's all black, which means it's all fully constrained, which is exactly what we want. Now we're gonna go to mirror. We're gonna select our mirror line, which is this one. And we're going to choose our circle and our line. And you can see the beginnings of this heart shape. Right click escape mirror. Um, I might get rid of the other planes. And I might just clean up. We trim some of the things that don't need to be there. Alright, so that's looking a bit better. Um, a couple of things that we can do now is if we add a fillet here, um, at the moment it's 0.5 of a millimeter. We don't want a lot, but we probably want a little bit more than that. We'll do one. And here we might do make this smaller. We might make that 0.5. So it still looks like a heart. Look, you can't tell. All right. Um, a couple of another, th another thing that we need to do is just do an offset. So if you think about this as our cookie cutter, we need like the, the thickness of the wall. Um, so that would go on the inside ideally. So we'll click all these. You just have to make sure that it's joining. So zooming in can really help. You'll see that that fixes that problem. And also that one. But we don't want... What is this, five mil? We just want two. So that's on the inside. We want to do the same on the outside. So here we go again. And the offset here is, it doesn't need that because it's on the outside, is two. Fantastic. All right, click the tick. Um, with this drawing, if I go to isometric, you can see that that's 
the sort of zero point, the origin point, and the, the plane, we're going to keep our drawing as, you know, the top is the top, the bottom is the bottom. I want to be wary of that. So the first thing that we're going to do is just extrude the wall up. So I've just clicked extrude and then click that inner side. Um, and we're going to go blind. Yep, it's going to be 30 millimeters high. And it's new. It's the first piece, so it's got to be a new piece. So that's part one down here. All right, because we want to keep the top the top, um, oh, do we? Yeah, let's do it because it'll let me show you a different feature later in the slicer. So what we're going to do here is go to sketch. The plane is the top of this where we've um, extruded to. So we're going to click that. You can see if I get rid of the top plane, you can see that that's there. You need to turn sketch one on and then we're going to go and click use and we're going to click the lines that we want that don't exist there yet so as I click them you can see that they're appearing and we've got our heart and you can see it's grayed off which means it's um, an object that we could extrude all right we're going to click the tick we're going to come here to extrude we're going to extrude that it's going to go down five mil it's kind of just gives it a bit more to push down with with our cookie cutter not that you need a lot of leverage on it. Um, merge with part one, add, click. Because it's the 3D printer, it can all be the same part um, in this case. We're not going to print these as different parts. With 3D printing, if, if you wanted to do a different color, um, you might print it differently and have it as separate parts, but then you've got to figure out the tolerances and stuff. It's a lot easier to keep everything as the same part. All right. So we are going to go and put a, um, well, let's do the chamfer first. So this is a 45 or a degree cut on it. We're going to hide sketch one. We're going to click on the outside. You notice that mine, if you click this button here, it's got equal distance, two distances, distance is angle. I'm clearing to click distance and angle. Um, we'll go 60 degrees doesn't like it are we clicking them all yep still doesn't like it if we go to 45 I'm not sure why it, it likes 45 maybe oh, it's probably because of this so the distance if we just did one we could try it at 60 degrees yep and you can see that we've got that angle it's up it's because it's only two it's only two millimeters thick, that wall, and it's doing the maths for you, and it's saying 1.5, 60 degrees is more than two mil. Um, but if we change it to one, it just works. You can see we've got a little bit of a lip there, and that's good enough, I think. Um, all right, fantastic. It's happy. All right, the other things we need to do is just make it so these edges aren't sharp. So if we go up here to fill it, and we fill it, you'll see that when we select it, it goes all the way around. Excellent. Um, same on the inside. I wonder if we can do the bottom at the same time. Yep, perfect. So that's what you want. If you, if I was clicking this and it was only doing one, I'd think uh, maybe there's a bit of a problem with my drawing or with my sketch or something like that. But that's coming up well. Um, this is a simple shape as well, so that makes it easier. I'm going to tone the radius down maybe 0.5 and using it with your hands that's why I don't want a sharp edge but it can stay relatively um, flat on the top uh, click the tick and I think that's about it in the next video I'll show you how we go from here to the slicer which tells the machine how to make this. Alright, see you there.